Hey, welcome back to Jazz Time. Jazztime.com is an online store that buys, sells, and trades authentic luxury watches. We make these videos so you can easily choose the best watch for yourself in the comfort of your own home. We offer the lowest prices anywhere online, and if you'd like to know the price, simply click on the links in the description below. We greatly appreciate if you'd purchase your next watch from us at Jazztime.com. Today we'll be, taking, we'll be taking a look at the Pontec Philippe 5230R or 5230R, a world time complication from their catalog, still in production today. This one, a world time watch. All right, this one in a rose gold uh, construction with, with the case and a nice gear shade pattern in the center of that dial. I'll be going over all the aspects of this watch, the case, the bezel, the dial, the crown functions, as well as this pusher and this strap, a brown alligator strap. All right, so starting off with, well, actually, one more thing, 5230R being the reference number, 5230R, I believe, dash 001, or no, 5230R dash 012, if you want to be particular about it. So starting off with the case, we do have a 38.5 millimeter case, kind of like a very nice mid-ground uh, size for many people. All right, you also have a thickness of 10.23 millimeters, so it slides very nicely under a suit cuff or jacket sleeve, anything of that sort. So it's really very much fits within the line of a dress watch. And it's generally for anyone who really travels a lot because you do have all these time zones listed here with uh, main cities for the representative time zones. You also have a nice high polish finish along the sides of this case. Uh, complete with my fingerprints, of course, as evident. And going all the way down to the lugs, nicely tapered down, almost modular in its design, really. The way that they sort of uh, uh, attach to this very rounded case, giving it kind of like a, a sense that this was more kind of like an evolution of a pocket watch, really. And uh, the way that it all comes together very nicely and cohesively, absolutely beautiful. And same with the bezel on here, nice and big, although... Uh, very fitting to the form with a very nice form factor itself. We have that high polish, uh, sort of like a conical, almost like a domed uh, rose gold bezel here, also in high polish. Gives a very nice halo around the time zones for this dial on here. The dial itself giving a sort of like a, a whitish, silvery, or kind of like an ivory white for all of the time zones at the peripheral. We have little triangles sort of marking each hour uh, among going around the world with the red uh, marking London for GMT, the Greenwich Mean Time. And also you have a 24 hour uh, disc uh, on the inside here, sort of like in the middle with a guilloshade pattern center with the local time displayed in 18 karat uh, index marks. The hour hand with a pierced uh, portion in the center and the minute hand nice and long, that leaf shaped hand. And again, all 18 karat yellow gold, or sorry, 18 karat rose gold, to, so that it basically will never tarnish for the entire lifetime of this watch. All right, now taking a look here at the functionality of this watch, I'm sure you're wondering how this all works. Basically at the base position for the crown, just wind it uh, clockwise. This allows you to wind the watch. So about 20 to 30 full winds will get you to the full power reserve on there, rather simple. All right, and keep in mind that this is basically a push and pull pusher as well as the button itself, just a single actuation. Just press it down and it actuates the mechanism on the inside. I'll show you in a moment, but basically all of this only gives you about 30 meters of water resistance. Don't take this any deeper than, you know, say the surface of a swimming pool. Just, you can probably do laps in a swimming pool, but no more than that. Certainly wash your hands. You can, you can definitely do that at least, all right? So basically at the base position, you can wind the watch and when you're at a dead stop, about 20 to 30 full winds get you to the full power reserve. Once you start feeling the damping and the resistance ramping up, you can stop because you've reached the full power reserve. Rather simple there. Pull the crown out to the next position and the only other position. Uh, is there a hacking seconds? Well, we don't really know because there's no seconds hand here. So, but you can actually set the time uh, based on your local position and take a look at what happens when you advance the minute hand, uh, either forward or backward. It moves the 12 hour dial or disc right in the middle of this dial, radially in the middle of the dial, to actually move with it about 15 degrees each time an hour is passed on local time. So basically this is your 24 hour 
dial on here. I'll show you how to read this in a moment, but basically this is what happens when you advance the minute hand and the hour hand. This is all basically to set your local time. So wherever you happen to be in the world right now, that's where you, that's how you should set your minute and hour hand. There's no date here, so it doesn't really matter exactly where you are on that. Just be able to set it to whichever time it matters to you. And I'll show you in a moment how all of this comes together. You, you can press the crown back in to ensure the wire resistance and to make sure that the time has started up once more. Now, taking a look at how the world time functions, you press the uh, button at the 10, 10 o'clock position. What this does is it advances the 24 hour disc back as well as the, uh, the, the, uh, the time zones backward as well in the same direction, 15 degrees as well. All right, so now instead of Los Angeles, I'm now Denver in central time zone. All right, and it advances the hour hand forward by one. So you may, you may be thinking, okay, so looking at all this in, you know, in very fine detail, there's a lot going on here, and certainly there is. So as you can see, I'm advancing, I'm traveling eastward right now, okay? And so my hour hand is going forward by one. This looks really complicated, right? But let me assure you, this is actually much simpler than it actually seems. Just don't think too hard about it, and it just works out. So let's go back, let's go back home to a Pacific time zone where, where I am right now. All right, and I'm gonna actually pull up my phone here to actually demonstrate. So I have, right now it's 12.25 p.m. in my time, Los Angeles. So what I will do is I will actually set the time on this watch to 12.25 p.m. local time. So what I'll do is I'll have Los Angeles set. I will set that first. Then I will set my current time to 12.25 p.m. So corresponding with this 24 hour uh, disc, marking the hours. I am just after 12 p.m. or 12.25 p.m. rather. Okay, so I'm going to close that winding crown there. So if I were to check my time and compare it with say Japan standard time, it's now 5.26 in the morning there. So if I just look at the dial, where is Japan standard time? Well, it's five in the morning, which is Tokyo right there, just after 5 p.m. or 5 a.m., all right? And I can see the hour is five, just after five, close to 5.30, and I know by, the, by the, my local minute hand that you know the minutes don't actually change from time zone to time zone, so it's 5.25 a.m. there. And if I were to change my time zone, if I were to travel, say, east to Denver, Colorado, it is still 5.25 or 5.26 a.m. in Tokyo, and my LA time shows 12, just after 12 because that's where the sun is at, at noon, high noon, 12.25 p.m. It all makes sense, correct? So as you continue to move eastward, say I am in uh, Mexico's uh, time zone right there, it is, well, 2.25 p.m and it is still 5.25 a.m. in Tokyo, Japan Standard Time. It is still 12.25 p.m. in Los Angeles. And so this is quite an excellent feat of engineering from Patek Philippe on making all of this work out so nicely. And as you can see, every time zone just happens to line up. Once you have your local time set properly, everything else just falls into place with zero effort. All right, so what makes all of this work on the inside? It is the movement, the 240HU on the inside there. If I can zoom in here and get a really good look at it, it's a automatic winding movement with 24 time zones with the day and night indication for those time zones, as you can see on the very front. You have a 27.5 millimeter diameter, thickness of uh, 3.88 millimeters, eight bridges, 33 joules, total of 239 parts altogether. You have a minimum of 48 hours of power reserve. So at the very least, you'll get two hours of power reserve out of this without wearing the watch. Simply wearing it all day will allow this, uh, this winding rotor, this 22 karat gold off-center mini rotor to actually wind uh, 
allowing you to wind that mainspring barrel automatically without having to you know turn the winding crown itself you have a gyromax balance with a spiromax balance spring meaning that well you can get relatively close to magnets and circuitry or anything with an electromagnetic interference it won't have any uh effect on the movement of this watch and you can take a few bumps here and there and you'll be just fine you also have the Patek Philippe seal on that 22 karat winding rotor and all of that to go with it also some nice a little hard to see but tiny tiny hallmarks on the underneaths of these lugs so you, that you know that you're dealing with rare metals here in this case rose gold all right and speaking of which while I'm zoomed out here you also have uh, this alligator leather strap brown very much fitting in with that very warm tone to the case and you also have a matching uh, red gold or rose gold clasp here with the Patek Philippe seal on there simply lift from the top and it opens up you have that pinhole type of uh, assembly here so you will have to have some force to actually close it but once you actually have it closed it won't actually slip it won't accidentally slip off. You just have to make sure it's closed entirely. And while I'm here, I can actually try it on, give you my thoughts as to how it wears on my wrist, seven inches in circumference. All right, and this being a 38 millimeter watch, it is a bit on the big side for me. Well, considering the, I haven't sized the strap for myself, a little bit on the big side for me, but well, because my wrist is rather small, uh, at least for, you know, people of my build. But looking at it straight down the wrist, the lugs do actually curve down quite nicely. And the straps actually do conform to any wrist size. So I can recommend this to anyone, you know, down to even like six inches in circumference. You can still wear this watch, no problem. Just be careful of the lugs potentially protruding out from the edge of your wrist. So wayward door handles or, or a door, uh, you know, uh, door frames could potentially uh, come into contact with those lugs so be very careful with that the larger wrist though you can still wear this very nicely up to maybe eight inches eight and a half inches uh, wrist size you can still wear this quite nicely and if you have more of a flat wrist than a wide wrist or more of a wide and flat than a round wrist than I do you can certainly wear this no problem if your wrist happens to be you know six or maybe even five and a half inches you can still wear this quite nicely it'll sit nice and flat on top of your wrist all right, and taking a look again, face on, absolutely beautiful with that 18 karat rose gold construction for the watch itself, giving a nice halo around this entire dial. Very high contrast here. You have the most mid-tone of mid-tone grays here, and I don't know if it's coming, uh, coming across in the video, but taking a look at this with my own eyes, it's almost like a, one of those illusions, uh, visual illusions sort of where you have, if you look, and move your visual field around uh, in this dial, you can actually see that it almost moves and it really gives it that sense of dynamic motion uh, for something that is actually uh, in reality completely still. So I'm not, I'm not sure if you can see it on the video, but if you look at this in real life with your own eyes, it's absolutely gorgeous with that manually and actually hand finished gear shade patterning from Patek Philippe. They do everything by hand, almost like the Rolls Royce of the luxury watch world. And that's basically where you land with this. All right, so enough of what I think. What do you guys think about this watch? Let us know down in the comments below what you think about this Patek Philippe 5230R-012, this world time from their complications catalog, Patek Philippe's own rose gold construction with that Nice mid-tone gray guilloche patterning in the center with the brown alligator leather strap. Let us know what you think down in the comments below. If you happen to enjoy this video or if you learned something, hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And hit the bell notification so you can be notified when we go live with another video like this one. And as always, if you'd like to purchase this watch or any other watch, visit our store at jazztime.com. By the way, let me also say that this watch is also currently selling at below retail. So if you want to get this one before it shoots up in price, Better pick one up now before it's too late. Otherwise, you're gonna have to get in your time machine, come back to 2021. At least that's when I'm recording this. This may go up a little bit later, but hey, better get it now than later because prices are only going up. They don't seem to be coming down anytime soon. So you can get it for the lowest possible price at jazztime.com, links in the description below, where you can get it for the lowest possible price anywhere online. 
this one happens to sell and we don't have another one sitting on our desk, we'll find another one for you. No problem. Thanks for watching. Take care. We'll see you in the next video. If you want to find out more about the watch you just saw in the video, you can just click below on show more to see the full description. Then you can check the link next to model as seen in video, click on it and you will get to the proper page where you can see all the details. If you're watching on a mobile phone, you have to click on the arrow down on the right hand side below the video to see the full description. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you would like to share this video with your friends, you can use the share button below and share it on any platform you like. If you have questions, constructive feedback, want to tell us about some mistakes or misspeaks, just write a comment below. If you want to see more videos like this, you should subscribe to our channel and visit our channel page where you can find all the videos. And if you're interested in a specific watch brand, you can check out our playlists. If you want to check the price for a watch or want to buy one, remember at jazztime.com you always get a steep discount, so you should check the prices with us. If you want to know the price for a specific watch, just go to Google, type in Jazztime, plus the brand, model and the details you're interested in and Google will find the right page for you. Thank you for watching.